How to sum a column in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you six different ways to sum a column in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this workbook. We have data in column A to column E and we have actual in column E and I want to add a total of this column here in cell E18. And I'm going to show you six different ways to do it. Okay. First way is to use the formula sum, right? Equal to and then sum. Double click here, select the range, close parenthesis, and press enter. So this is our total. Okay. Now the second way is to use the auto sum feature, which you will find in the formula tab, and click on auto sum, and here click on sum. And you can see the AutoSum feature has been enabled and the sum function is placed here with automatically selecting all the range in this column. And if I press enter, we have our total column here. I'm going to remove this. The third way is to use a keyboard shortcut that will enable the AutoSum feature. The keyboard shortcut is Alter equal to. And the AutoSum feature just enabled and if I press enter, this is our total. Now let's remove it. The fourth way is to select the total range. And in the status bar, you can see the total number, the total sum is added here, okay? If you don't find sum here, you'll have to right click on the status bar and select or check mark this sum, okay? You'll find this here after that. The fifth way is to select the total range and give it a name. Here, I'm going to click on the name box and write actual and I'm going to press enter. Now, whenever I use this name range inside a formula, we'll get our autosum feature or we will get our total. Take a look at here. I'm going to write equal to and then sum. And here, instead of selecting the reference, I'm going to write actual. And here you can see this is the name range icon and this is our name range, which is actual. I'm going to double click here and close parenthesis and press enter. You can see we got our total another way is to click on this drop down and click on actual the range will be selected automatically and here in the status bar we will find our total of this column okay now the last way is to convert this range into a table i'm going to select a single cell inside this data range i'm going to either click on insert and table or i can use the keyboard shortcut Control t and this will become a table it has already check marked my table has header which is true we have headers here and if i click ok we have converted our range into a table now from the table design tab here we have a total row if i select this or if i check mark this we'll get our total for this column okay now there is a drawback if you want to add a new data after the total column it will not automatically included but you can drag the table handle from here and then if you drag down it will be automatically placed inside the table and the total column will be at the last also let's say we are in the last cell of our table next row is for the total row but i'm going to add a new data inside this table if i press enter it will not work it will move my selection to the total but if i press tab you can see a new row will be added inside our table so if i write a new data here and add a value here and press enter now our total for this column is automatically placed at the end of our table and we will get our total of this column this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching